All right, let's try the um, question six from this paper. And let's read it a bit, please, before we begin. So the function f, where fx is equals to a sine xb, all right, is defined for the domain. Domain means the x values. Where is in this domain, la, the zero to two pi. So whenever you see this pi symbol, it's understood that it's the standard, like a kind of the standard unit, which is in radians. Huh? So it's given that f half pi is equals to two and half this one, the values are given like that. This can also be signified by coordinates. Huh? So if you write it as a coordinate, it'll be something like this, pi over two or half pi, x is inside the bracket, f x, right? So the outer one is y, because that's why sometimes we say f x equals to y, because we link it to a coordinate axis. And then here, likewise, we can also say the coordinate is three pi over two, and then the y is negative eight. Okay, that's one way of looking at it in coordinates. So the interesting thing is now they say find the values of A and B. So let's say I start in this corner here on the left, top left corner. So we are given that we use the definition, this is a bit algebraic huh? or solution, trigonometric equation, I should be exact, plus B. So A and B, whenever they say like this here, they didn't specify, but you must understand that A and B are constants, okay, by definition of uh, convention uh, usage in such a problem. Okay, here, let's just uh, define it. So that means the first case is letting x equals to pi over two. So pi over two radians, just a recap, you should know that pi radians is 180, so pi over two radians is 90 degrees. So therefore, when you replace the x, you replace it like that. So a sine, you're gonna write in degrees can, so I just change it to 90 degrees. Okay, easier to think in degrees, right? So on the left, f of that, we take this value, the given one, the coordinate, x, y, so this whole thing became two. You can think of it like that. Sine 90, you can put in your calculator, Aha, and you realize it's one. So we have this equation, a plus b equals to two. Okay, before I decide the second equation or write anything on that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write the uh, second one first. Aha, that means, now if that's the first one, right? So let's go with the second one parallel, so you can give it a space because you don't know what you want to substitute between the a and b. One of it could be easier, but sometimes it doesn't make any difference. Just uh, keeping that uh, pointer. So that's why x equals to three pi over two. And then in radians, if you want to convert radians to degrees, what do you do? So this one I'll show because that was an easy count. So always multiply by a factor of, because pi radian is 180. So you can just multiply like this first. So you realize that this becomes 200 and 70 degrees. So that means x is 270 degrees or so 3 pi over 2. So substituting in the given function, so this becomes 3 pi f 3 pi over 2. So this is a sine. Aha. So the 3 pi over 2 part, you can write it 3 pi over 2 in radians, but preferably I write it 270 degrees, emphasizing the unit so that it's easier for us to think about it. So sine 270. So the sine 270 part is a special value. You can use your calculators to realize that it is negative one. So I copy on the left, this value, the y value for negative eight, this one by calculator, and then plus b. So we realize that this tells me that this equation becomes b minus a equals to negative eight. So now I can label my equations, a plus b and this thing. I don't need to rewrite. It's an easier way to solve this. Aha. So how do you solve equation one and two? Oh, so let's say we solve it here. So equation one plus two on the left-hand side, we just pick up from equation one of that. Left-hand side means on the left-hand side, the equal sign. So it's like a plus b equals to two, right? So you're writing that. On this side, plus b minus a equals to minus eight, just copy like that. So when you simplify, you can see easily that the a cancels off. So if the a cancels off, so 2b equals to negative 6, and therefore b equals to negative 3. And then we put this back, put back in 1. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, put back, let's say, in equation 1, easier. So a plus b is this thing. So a, this thing, is 2, a minus 3, because the b is negative 3, yeah, the substitution. And therefore, we can compute the a as 5. 
when you bring it up, two plus three la, is five. So then that's the first part. So when you uh, solve that, you got the answer for the, find the values of A and B. This will be the working for this three marks. La. Okay, now the second part. They say find the values of X for which FX equals to zero, giving your answers in radians correct to two decimal places. Ah, so how do we solve this thing? Okay, so the first thing here, so I'm just gonna do it, try to do it here, if there's enough space. So the second part, we do it here. Oh, that means FX now equals to the values of A and B is five, A is five sine X, then the B is minus three. They put minus three in there. So five sine X minus three. So they want the FX to be zero. So if FX is zero, we will put the whole equation above zero. So five sine X minus three is zero. And therefore sine X is equals to three over five. Aha. So they want the answer in radians. Don't worry about the radians part first. What we do is we get it in degrees. Let's see, see, see. Okay, so in the domain of until two pi, until 360 degrees, that means this domain, x uh, less, sorry, less equals to zero. This is two pi, this radians means equivalently in degrees just for ease, because we only think in degrees, right? So it is the same as two pi is 360 degrees. Oh, and then this side is bigger equals to zero. So we do an arc sine, so to get the acute angle, arc sine of three over five, it turns out to be, I see, so this part is acute X, sometimes people write like this, acute X equals to 36.9. Let's say I just take one decimal point. Okay, now let's convert it to radians. So how do you convert to radians? So 36.9 degrees, just like the conversion factor in light green earlier. Now we just invert it upside down, pi over, 180 degrees. So we're going to write it uh, in decimals. So they actually specify here, which is good. It's a bit easier. Correct to two decimal places. Of course, you could have used more decimals from the original one huh, to increase accuracy. So I'm doing now. So divide by 180 times five. Ta da! So two decimal places, it turns out to be X, it turns out to be 0 0.64 radians or red. Lah. Red is radians, huh? two decimal places. So now how to get all values of X. So now we're going to the part, we're trying to answer the all values of X part. Oh, find the values of X in that range. So for that section, okay, so let's go and do that now. What I'm gonna do is just gonna widen this part a little bit from here so that we can scribble on it. Oh, so because I've only part done, huh? you'll know. Huh? Okay, so that means here we need to acute X, the acute of X, it turns out to be 0 0.64 radians. This is the first fact, only two facts we need to use. And we want to find the value of uh, X uh, in this uh, thing. Okay, and sine X in radians must be three over five. These are the two things that we look for when we want to look for the complete set of values. The range and the this thing. It's the main thing. La. There's one more thing, the range, sorry, we didn't specify yet which is from here. So X is between 360 degrees or this thing. So we count this counterclockwise. So zero, 90 degrees like that. Oh, sorry, I'm writing radians here, still like this thing. So zero is okay, still in radians. So this is pi over two. This is pi radians, 180 degrees. Three pi over two, or this is two pi. Okay, and then we're going to draw these lines. So I'm just gonna draw some lines inside here. Sign is positive. So before I draw the sign lines here, I'm just going to signify cos is positive here. All is positive here. Only sign is positive here. Tangent is positive. So we're looking for where sign is positive. Sign is positive means I put a tick here. I put a tick here. So these two are the only regions where sign is positive. So therefore, I'm going to draw two lines inside the plus. Take note. One is here. Another one is here. So this acute angle by definition, linking it to by the definition, uh, it will be da -da -da, this way. So this acute is 0 0.64 in radians. This one, it calculates always from the horizontal axis, always. Okay, that's the meaning of acute angle and how it relates to the picture. 
But then we are giving a classic, if you want to find all answers means, we're not talking about that definition. We want to go counterclockwise. That's how we do zero to, like how we wrote the orange values, huh? zero to two pi. So that means the first one is here, an arrow here, ta-da, and then to the green arrow, or the second one is here. So the first uh, one in the arrow, we can just copy. That's the easy part. So we can just write like x equals to 0 0.64 radians. On the second one, it's a little bit more tricky because you can see that to calculate from here to here, we need to take 180 degrees of pi radian, the radian we're counting, minus the 0 0.64. Oh, that's why they do this minus. And finally, just simplifying this, they calculated to two decimal places. We should get the answer as 0 0.64 radians, the first answer. Or the second one is 5 minus 0 0.64, which results in 2.50. We write the zero just to signify it is rounded to the accuracy of two decimal places, 2dp. Yeah? It's the meaning of, other people say dp. Nah? Okay, so that's how we do the this part. Okay, which leads us now to the third part. Okay, let's try the third part, please, which is sketch the graph of y equals to fx. Aha. So this thing is to help us to sketch the graph. So I'm just going to whiten this side now just to do the graph part. Yeah? This side, no? Let's say whiten this side. It's all done earlier. Yeah? Okay, how do we use these values and things like that to draw a graph? Sketch, yeah? sketch means you don't use a graph paper. A plot would be the contrasting word to use a graph paper. The first thing we observe is that 0 to 2 pi is a positive quadrant. So on the right only, the graph is going to exist. So I just pull it off here, let's say. Let's say I draw a bit down so there's more space. Aha. So let's say until here, give the space for the graph area. Huh? Please take note. Okay, what do we label and how do we uh, complete this section? So the interesting thing or the important thing rather in this instance is to put a y here or fx. Y is fx. This is x. And then on this side, we're going to label some of the things. So the curve name is y equals to, oh, sorry, I should write fx, because using the fx name, right? So fx equals to five sine x minus three. Aha, five sine x minus three like that. Okay, then we need to draw now some points. So it's just a sine curve that is kind of like, uh, five times, uh, what do we say? A scale, like some kind of scaling has happened five times on it. Then minus three, that's all. So it's just minus three means uh, the minus three part tells you it has moved up or down, down by three units from the standard one, down three units. Okay, every single value. So it's like, you can just think of the maximum minimum. It's like a way of thinking, we use extremal principle. So the highest usually sign is one, right? So minus three, the lowest is five times zero minus three so you get the feel it's negative three to five minus three is two highest is two two to negative three that means you're going to draw the same thing that means the sine curve sine x you almost know huh like this the base curve except that the highest value here is going to be at uh two and the lowest value here is going to be at minus three and that is why two and minus three are a bit skewed to the downward a bit so this is two like that i signify that clearly and then minus three is here. And then the other important thing, if you want to make your sketch uh, good to re reflect that, is that the midpoint, the middle line, sorry, y equal to what? The x is the y equal to zero is so normally we draw the thing, right? So two plus negative three, just take an average, please. So when you take an average, you realize that this becomes uh, three minus two, huh? negative 0 0.5. So the negative 0 0.5 is somewhere here, let's say. Uh -huh. It's negative 0 0.5, just to highlight that. Oh, we just put dotted lines. Please take that. Da, 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 da. Oh, like that. Okay, then here's the x. La. So that, that is where actually we're going to draw that uh, zero. Ah, the zero from. Huh? So the x value where it's zero from, it turns out to be the 0 0.64 radians, isn't it? Okay, so that's that's not really necessary. La. That's why it shows the symmetry. That means uh, the symmetry is going to start from here. So now I'm going to do the sketch. Please take note. So from here, this way is zero. Like as though you draw like normal, just draw only. Until the two, it's just to signify, sorry, I must do it like nicely with that. This is the meaning of that uh, points and this thing. So we want to draw nicely. Aha, it goes until the highest like that. 
then it goes to the lowest like that until the negative three. That's what it means. And then it doesn't go beyond this line. Now, please take note, huh? Okay, so this is how the sketch looks like. So if you want to add the dotted lines to signify some things, can. Please remember the dotted lines is used to draw the parts that are not part of the curve. We only use the block lines as part of the curve. So you put a dot like that and all that. Oh, kind of makes sense, right? So where does these two value, the blue values in 0 0.64 radians and, mm -hmm. and 2.50 radians uh, fit in the graph? So this is where it cuts the axis. Since we computed in the earlier part, good to show that. So just a 0 0.64 correct to two decimal places. And, okay, there's only two parts, right? In that range it cuts, so this is the 2.50. So you all can understand now what's the meaning of that one, meaning of 0 0.5 and all those meanings. So we just draw one full unit. Where's the two pi radian? How does that come into play? The zero to two pi, the range, zero is here, the symmetry. The middle is this is pi over two. They can just signify like that. This, the middle, uh, this is where, it's not here, it's here actually. Somewhere in this side is pi. If you want to show, it's like the, the original curve, you must see, I just put dotted line just to show that. Three pi over two, 270 degrees, in other words. The last one is two pi is here. So it's a little bit getting a bit too accurate for a sketch. But if you want to signify any of this, you can. This is very accurate, like the sketch itself. And then one last thing to get your full marks, to have no uh, forms about it. So FX, just label please, somewhere outside a bit further away, so that it is easier to understand the curve like that. The definition of the curve is somewhere like this. Yep, so that's how you solve this question in four, question five. Thank you.